Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Invite someone mm-hmm. quickly. Invite someone quickly. Once I join. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Robert J. God bless you. Periscope, Facebook, God bless you. Invite someone, mm-hmm. Robert Israel. How are you doing? God bless you. I haven't seen you in a very long time. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Jonathan Washington. How are you? Long time. I haven't seen you as well. Stephanie Goff. My goodness. Blessings to you all. YouTube. God bless you. God bless you. Um, I'm excited to be live with you all this night. Um, Melissa Moretti. God bless you. Alisa Johnston. Nachesan. God bless you. Chris Walters, God bless you. Alisa, Nijasen, eh? Kagdela, Karasho, God bless you. For those thinking that was that was Russian, so don't worry. Prophet is speaking Russian. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes for everyone to come online. Facebook, invite someone very quickly. I want to talk about Halloween tonight. I want to talk about Halloween tonight. YouTube, God bless you. You're on YouTube. Please say something so I know you're there. So for everyone watching, I'm, I'm live on YouTube. So I'm live on um, Periscope and Facebook. So I have um, three screens in front of me. I have um, Facebook to my right, YouTube down the middle, and um, and um, 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 Periscope to my left. Hallelujah. So don't please forgive me when you see my head moving, moving. <laughs> Moving from from north to south and east to west, Amen. I'm just gonna catch everyone's word. God bless you. If you're online. Say something so I know you're there. Do not be quiet. Everyone on Periscope, God bless you. Periscope family, God bless you. YouTube family, you're welcome. And as ever, Facebook family, very, 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 very welcome to you. God bless you. Hey guys, um, I want to talk to us about Halloween. Um, I'll just, yeah, my study, this is my study area in the house. Uh, this is my, my little spot where I I get time out to sit down in the office, in the house, in my room, and just study. I've got my Bible here, and I've got my notepad, I've got my pen. And whilst I was studying, I heard the whispers of the Holy Spirit. And the, the Lord said something that I want to discuss with you. Please invite someone very quickly. You want to hear this. This is about Halloween. Um, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. We give you glory. We worship you. Lord, I pray that every word that proceeds forth from my mouth will be a blessing to someone. We bring edification, not judgment. It will bring enlightenment, not condemnation. And most importantly, that the works of darkness in our time and our generation, especially tonight, every completion in every environment, city, town, and country Mm -hmm. shall be nullified, neutralized, and destroyed by the power, the light, and the fire of God. In the name of Jesus and the people of God say, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. YouTube, God bless you. I see you all loading up on YouTube. Don't, 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 don't be quiet on YouTube. I see you in in Kode Temboe. God bless you. God bless you, YouTube. God bless you. Invite someone, begin to subscribe to our YouTube page. It's Prophet John live here. You call me John on YouTube. God bless you. Periscope, God bless you. I saw um, Langa. God bless you. Langa, God bless you. Um, Warriju, God bless you. And also, what was online? Life of Jesus, God bless you. Hey, Robbie Israel, God bless you. Now, Facebook family, Jennifer Washington, one more time, God bless you. 1K, God's, God's glory, God bless you. Alisa, God bless you. Rache, God bless you. Um, 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 Kadi K, God bless you. God bless you. Listen, very quickly, tomorrow we're having our night vigil, first of uh, first of November night vigil. Get, make your way there. It's going to happen at the Grand Park Hall. We're using the Grand Hall for our night vigil. So we're having our first night vigil uh, for November. It's a covenant night vigil into the month of November. The Lord said the month of November is the month of notable miracles, notable happenings. So make your way. As we, we're going to also have Holy Communion to covenant with heaven concerning the plan of God for the month of November. Tomorrow, Friday, the first of November, the first day of the month of November, we're going to be having a special night vigil. God bless you, Anita P. God bless you. Is that Anita Piri? Is that Anita Piri? God bless you. Now, get yourself ready. Listen to me. Hear me out. I've not come to judge, neither have I come to condemn. The Bible says, 
Jesus came not to condemn the world, but by him the world shall be saved. He came not to condemn. He came not to condemn, but by him, through him, man shall be saved. Well, I went out, um, I went shopping um, to get a few things, um, a few um, just groceries, grocery shopping today to, to get some food, um, to fill up my refrigerator. And um, whilst I was out, I saw people um, um, dressed up like witches, dressed up like wizards, dressed up like all sorts of satanic um, 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 and a demonic, demonic um, 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 age, um, entities, I'd say entities. Some were dressed up like they've, they've been beaten and battered and they look like they were bleeding. I saw people, different people, people um, looking like ghosts. Some of them were looking like some demons. Some of them were looking all type of looks. It was frightening to see that even in our local shops, local shops meaning where you go get groceries, milk, cereal, um, um, and biscuits and fruits and um, all sorts to fill up your refrigerator and your kitchen, it's all been turned to. Um, 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 it's all been turned to. Um, um, it's all been turned to what I call um, an an event where, or a, 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 a place where the devil is being celebrated. It's like the world is marking devil. The world is marking demonic deities. The world is marking, marking what I don't know and why I don't know we should be marking these things. It made me cringe. Major the sweets, it's all been dedicated to devils, uh, chocolate, um, uh, uh, um, 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 uh, clothes, and um, toothpaste, and everything has got a symbol of something demonic on it. But yet, you see people, even Christians, um, as, as, as sad as it is uh, it, to say and to mention, Christians going out to prepare. For Halloween. There are some churches, as I speak to you right now, they are they are currently currently preparing their auditoriums for Halloween. They are currently preparing their buildings for Halloween. We don't have people preparing their buildings for prayer services anymore. We don't have the church preparing itself to gather and the in, in, in one accord and the Holy Ghost show up. We don't have people who are ready, waiting and seeking the face of God like the days of the apostles and the Holy Ghost shows up like a mighty rushing wind. We don't have Christians anymore who's, who would say, you know what, we, we were chosen to stand out. All we have it are, are, are people who will rather blend with society and and out from society. Remember the Bible says, scripture says, do not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Child of God, understand something. Halloween is witchcraft. Mm -hmm. It is black and white. And Christians do not celebrate Halloween. Christians do not partake of, partake of Halloween. The Bible says in the book of uh, 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 First Corinthians, please, I'm going to give you about six, six Bible verses, six Bible verses tonight, six Bible verses. I, I want you to write this down if you, if you can hear me, the six Bible verses. We start with the first one. The first one we'll be taking from First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 21. Listen, um, the reason tomorrow is a special night vigil, and it, after this revelation, which I'm going to share with you right now as I'm live, I don't believe you would have any reason or excuse to miss tomorrow's night vigil. The, the Lord said something to me whilst I was singing, and it made me cry, and I was I I I, sh I shook in my spirit. The Lord said, "The world do not understand the meaning and the symbolism and the very act of Halloween." The Lord said and whispered to me through the voice of the Spirit of God, saying that Halloween is a satanic covenant day. It's a satanic covenant day of blood. A satanic covenant day to change destinies. A satanic covenant day to 
to, to change glories, to steal the glory of God upon many, and the devil replaces it with, 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 with nonsense. It's a covenant day where hell spreads its satanic ambition on the earth. And as many that open their hands and their doors to such acts, the Lord said, he will deal with. What am I trying to say? When I got back from, from town, I, I opened my door and um, the Lord said, go back. And I said, Lord, what do you mean? He said, go back, pick up your anointing oil because I have a bottle of anointing oil in my car. And he said, anoint from, 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 from your gates all the way to your doorstep. Anoint the footpath from your gates where you park your car to the doorstep, and not just that, anoint your door before you go in. So I dropped my bags, my shopping, my grocery bags by the door, and I went back to the car. I picked up this bottle of anointing oil and I anointed the door post, anointed the gate post, the footpath, and the, my, my entrance that's the welcome part, obviously, the, um, the, the, the welcome part of the house. I anointed my house. And then the Lord said, now you could go in. I picked up my bag, my grocery shopping, and I walked into the house. And the Lord said, lock your door and do not open your door. Lock your door and do not go out tonight. Child of God, understand something. This is a satanic night. Mark my word. The Lord said, blood will flow after this, because after this, the devil will demand a certain capacity of blood. As many that open their doors to such satanic operation tonight called Halloween, you are giving your house, you are giving your house, you are giving the devil access to your household, giving the devil access to your children, giving the devil access to your life, giving the devil access to your peace, giving the devil access to your health, giving the devil access to your finances, giving the devil access to your marriages, giving the devil access to where you lay your head at night. Now the, I said, open your Bibles with me. The first um, Bible verse I want us to read, if you open your Bibles, write it down. The first one, please type it up so I know you're following me. YouTube, come on. Facebook, come on. Periscope family, let's type it up together. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20. First Corinthians 10, 21, I beg your pardon. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 21. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 21. The first epistle of Paul's to the Corinthians. First Corinthians 10, 21 says, ye cannot drink, you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and drink the cup of devils. You cannot partake. You cannot partake. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and the devil's table. You cannot drink the cup of devils. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord Neither can you drink the cup or eat from the, from the lost table and the devil's table at the same time. The problem here is that we have people who are eating from both tables and thinking there will be no reaction. When you eat from the table of the Lord, what happens to a man is that honor follows you. A man that dines with God is like dining with royalty. When you dine with God, what happens is your number one, life. You enjoy life. Number two, honor becomes, honor becomes part and parcel of the man. Number three, goodness and mercy follows the man. The Bible says, goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of love. When you die now, prior to that, it says, Thou prepares a table before me, in the presence of my enemies, thou anoints it prepares, meaning you are dining with God, you are dining with God based on the table is prepared for you. Thou then anoints my head with oil. Before a king is crowned, oil must pour on his head. Thou anoints my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. You see this? And I shall dwell in the house of love forever and ever. Amen. When you dine with God, when you are eating from the table of the Lord, the first thing that follows a man is honor. Anointing touches your head. Next thing that follows a man is goodness. And the third one, mercy. 
The man enjoys life as he dwells in the house of God. Now, on the contrary, when you dine, when you eat from the table of the devil, it is like stolen water. It looks sweet, but the repercussion thereof leads a man to destruction. The, rep the repercussion thereof leads a man to destruction. A man who eats from the table of the devil is a man who will suffer sickness. Why? Understand that the threefold mission ministry of the devil is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. John chapter 10, verse 10. So, child of God, I want you to make this clear tonight that you will not partake of the devil's table. This is the reason why the Lord said to me, we should have a ninth video, the very first Friday of the month, which is tomorrow, first Friday of November. The ninth video, we're going to also going to have only communion. We're going to be communing with God. Now, ninth, we're going to be having ninth video. We're going to be having the Holy Communion during the ninth vigil. Someone might be listening to me and saying, but prophet, why are you having Holy Communion in the night? It's a ninth vigil service. The Bible says, and during the last supper, they broke bread and they drank wine. Meaning, true Holy Communion happens in the night, not in the day. Supper is not breakfast, neither is supper lunch. Supper is night meal. Supper is usually night meal, and they had only communion in the night. So I don't know where we get only communion in the day. That's why in my ministry, we don't have only communion in the day or the afternoon. We have only communion in the evenings, supper, supper. So this night video, we're going to be having only communion to counter what has been done. We're going to also pray heavily as we cross into the month of November. The Lord said the month of November is a month of notable miracles. Notable miracles, meaning notable Notable happenings through divine, divine intervention because miracles means divine intervention, meaning something notable will happen in your life and through Allah Gadabosh, divine intervention. YouTube, are you there with me? Periscope, are you still there with me? Facebook, are you still there with me? So understand something that this ninth vigil tomorrow, Friday the 1st, it's a special weekend, Friday the 1st of November and Sunday the 3rd of November. We're going to be meeting at the Grand Park Hall. In the in Luton Town Centre, Grand Park Hall, the service for the ninth vigil starts at nine p.m. prompt. Grand Park Hall, come ready to pray. Come with your children. Come with your 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 family members. Come with your friends. Pray and neutralize yourself from from the causes that your your society want to place on you. Bible says, "If my people who are called by my name shall humble mm -hmm. themselves." Scripture all also also says. When the wicked rule, when the wicked rule, when the wicked rule, what follows? The righteous also suffers. But when the righteous rules, prosperity is never far. So this is very important. Very, 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 very important that you attend. You must attend. You get yourself Grand Park Hall tomorrow, Friday, 9 p.m. We start coming to your children. Come with your children, come with your husbands, your wives, your, your brothers, your sisters. We're going to be praying together and then having our communion. Amen. Now, mm -hmm. another Bible verse, I start, I have a few Bible verses. Another Bible verse I want us to, we're also going to look at tonight is going to be taken from the book of, um, sorry, I'm just trying to adjust my camera here. Okay, just want to adjust my camera. God bless you. Another Bible verse I want us to read as well. Um, I, I gave us the first one I gave us was what? First Corinthians 10 21. The second Bible verse I want us to read as well is Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. So please write that down as well. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. So the first one I gave was what? First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 21. The second one I'm giving us tonight is taken from Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Someone is asking, where is the address for the ninth vigil? The address for the ninth vigil will be at Grand Park, Grand Park Hall, Luton, Bedfordshire. Grand Park Hall in the Luton Town Center, Bedfordshire. It's number 87 Park Street, LU13HG. Grand Park Hall, 87 Park Street, Luton, lu 13 hg 9 p.m we start the service now open your bibles with me 
The second Bible verse I want us to read tonight very quickly, Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Please, if you are listening to me, don't miss tomorrow's night vigil. We are the night vigil is the first Friday into the new month. We are also making sure that we are countering what this satanic Halloween night is doing. Number three, number 11 in the realms of the spirit means the enemy has stolen something from you and you need to complete it. When Jesus, when Jesus um, 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 called the 12 disciples, the Bible says, and one in form of Judas, Judas Iscariot betrayed Jesus, took his life, and they were 11. They had to, they had to cast a lot and pray then Matthias was chosen to become, um, was it Matthias? Was chosen to become the 12th. Meaning God is particular about numbers. 12 tribes, 12 tribes of who? 12 tribes of Israel as well. Not 11 tribes, not 11 disciples. 12 means the government, it represents the government number of heaven. Am I communicating here? So understand that, the month of November is the 11th month of the year. That is the same month the devil would want to steal from people. And it's not an accident that Halloween is landing and happening on a night as this, the last night of October into the 11th month of the year. So the ninth video, we're going to be focusing heavily on taking and securing our blessing for the new month. And the, re and the reason why the Lord said the month of November is the month of notable miracles. Div miracles means divine intervention. To be for one is to be for arm. I'm inviting you now tomorrow, 9 p.m. Grand Park Hall, 87 Park Street, Luton, Bedfordshire. 9 p.m. We start the service for our ninth vigil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, second Bible verse I want us to read. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20, very quickly because of time. I have a minister's meeting straight after this. Isaiah, 5, Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light. Woe unto them, woe unto them, put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Listen, Halloween is dark. Halloween is witchcraft. Halloween is, is bitter. It's not sweet. It's not the light. It's not, it's not, it's not. Halloween is what it is. I don't celebrate witchcraftry. We don't celebrate witchcraftry. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. The word suffer not a witch to live is not talking, it's not just talking about the person, but also its oppression, meaning suffer not the oppression of witchcraft to live around you. But isn't it a shame that many Christians are the ones painting their children like ghosts and they are going from door to door knocking and asking treat or trick, trick or treat or trick or tweet, whatever they ask for, twisting and exchanging the destiny, the glory, and the virtue of their children by collecting sweets in place of what God has placed in them. On the sons of the child of God, Halloween is witchcraft. It's not of God. And the Bible verse, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11. Ephesians 5, 11. Ephesians 5, 11. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11 says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather, 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 rather reprove them. Someone just sent a message on Periscope saying that it saddens them, that um, it saddens them to know that churches are hosting um, uh, uh, an, uh, an alternative event to this demonic holiday. Or churches, churches are not hosting, are not. It's a shame. This is a day where churches should be hosting events that counters such wickedness. This is a day where churches should be hosting events that counters this witchcraft operations. So please, 
I'm, I'm, I'm urging you again. This weekend is not what you play with. Don't allow the covenant works of the devil to trap you, but instead covenant with heaven to separate you. Am I communicating? I'm having a, we're having a prayer night video tomorrow. We are hosting a prayer night video tomorrow. So please do not miss it. Prayer night video, 9 p.m., Grand Park Hall, 87 Park Street, Luton, Bedfordshire. We are countering, we are countering, countering all these nurses' acts. We are also going to apostolically and prophetically cross into the new month of November. The month of November is what? The Lord said the month of notable miracles, meaning notable happenings through divine intervention. We're also going to have Holy Communion. Listen and hear me clearly. To before one is to before her. Get, come with your children, come with your wives, come with your husband. So we pray against this. We don't celebrate witchcraft. Witchcraft is the devils. We are children of God and Halloween is not of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ephesians 5, 11 says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Quickly, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. Leviticus is after Exodus, the third book of, the, of Moses. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. Quickly, because of time. Hallelujah. Leviticus 19:31. So if you're in the UK, make your way. If your if your if your local assemblies are not opening running mini, um, nine tomorrow, that means your pastor is your pastor is, is, is joking with your lives. Make your way. You're in and around the UK. Join me for a prophetic and apostolic fire night video tomorrow as we cross into the month of November. Tomorrow, Friday, the first of November. November is the month of notable miracles. Going to be communion with we're going to be communing with heaven as we take holy communion as well and praying into the new month. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. Leviticus 19, 31. Praise God. Leviticus 19, 30, 31. It is an quote. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Regard not, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31, regard not, do not regard them that have familiar spirits. Neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. When you celebrate Halloween, you get defiled by devils. When you celebrate witchcraft, you get defiled by witchcraft. That's why a lot of people start going to bed after this and they start getting witchcraft attacks nightmares and they start running looking for deliverance but what are you doing whatever you celebrate it either elevates you or it defiles you so when you celebrate witchcraft tree, when you celebrate familiar spirits when you celebrate devils when you celebrate halloween you get defiled by these dev demons is there leviticus chapter 19 verse 31 do not regard them that have familiar spirits neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them, I am the Lord of God. Please, child of God, it's time to celebrate God like a banner across the land. Let us fly the flag of Jesus. Fly the flag of the kingdom of God. Let's pray and intercede for our community ourselves. Hence the reason why I'm hosting this weekend Starting with Friday, Friday, the 1st of November, 9 p.m. we're starting. Grand Park. Can I have the admin put it up, please? Grand Park Hall in Luton. Grand Park Hall. In fact, it I took it so seriously that we had to get a grand venue. Grand venue. To celebrate Jesus, not Halloween. Grand Park Hall. 87 Park Street, Luton. Grand Park Hall, number 87 Park Street, Luton. Bedfordshire, UK. 9 p.m. We start the night video tomorrow. We're going to also have only coming. We're going to be praying for our breakthroughs and miracles that no mm -hmm. satanic covenant will take it from us. Mm -hmm. Am I communicating here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Regard not. Don't regard them that have familiar spirit. Never seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. And lastly, 
Deuteronomy chapter 18, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 to 12. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 to 12. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 to 12. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Those on YouTube, God bless you. My my I'm trying to get my phone back. Get the screen. It looks like it's dying. Praise God. Deuteronomy chapter 18. Praise God. Verse 9 to 12. Oh, I just lost mm -hmm. Facebook there as well. My God. Praise the Lord. Just lost Facebook. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Facebook, God bless you. We lost, we lost, we lost, I lost connection there. The devil is a liar. Periscope, God bless you. I hope you see you there with me. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 to 12. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 18. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 to 12. Very quickly, we read it and we pray. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 to 12. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, God bless you, Periscope. God bless you. Um, Facebook, God bless you. We lost reception there. Sorry, we lost reception. God bless you. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 to 12 says, When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abomination of those nations. Because people are celebrating Halloween doesn't mean it's meant for you. Am I communicating? Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9, 12. When thou come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abomination of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an, ob or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a witch, or a witch. Don't allow your sons and daughters is there. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 to 12 is there. Don't allow your sons and daughters. Now, it says, verse 11 says, or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirit or a wizard or a wizard or a necromancer. Verse 12 says, for all that do these things an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord that God doth drive them out from before thee. Meaning the Lord drove out the previous occupiers of Canaan land by the reason of their witchcraft, necromancy, stargazing, familiar spirit, and engagement and consultancy, the Lord drove them out because why? They followed the path of Halloween and this is jumping over fire, making their children do the same. God drove them out and gave the land to the Jews, give the land to these people, and he warned these people, I drove them out, then do not learn the same thing for which I drove them out, meaning God wants to bless you in the land, don't them, to get your November don't celebrate Halloween we have about 40 we have about 62 63 days left to the end of 2019 I believe, hear me, I believe that God has still got something planned out for you. And for you to secure the blessings of God for the remainder, the remaining days of this year, before we cross into, into, into 2020, understand that you will not partake of satanic and witchcraft covenant acts. Instead, seek the face of God. Instead, keep your children preserved. This night, anoint your houses, wherever you are, anoint your rooms, anoint your bedrooms, anoint your doors, anoint your gates. Make sure you do before you go to bed. Anoint your houses before you do go to bed. Anoint your children. Am I communicating? And tomorrow, if you are in and around the United Kingdom, make sure you join me. I'm going to be in Luton. For a, we're going to be having a prophetic and an apostolic fire the night video in Luton, Luton, United Kingdom. Where is the venue? Grand Park Hall. The venue is called Grand Park Hall, number 87 Park Street. Luton Bedfordshire, Grand Park Hall, number 87 Park Street, Luton Bedfordshire. It's a two double cylinder weekend, double cylinder weekend 
Friday, 9 p.m. Tomorrow, 9 p.m. starts at 9 p.m. We start on the, on the dot. And on Sunday, 4 p.m. We are not joining the enemy. We are standing with the camp of the Lord. Who is on the Lord's side? I want to know. Praise God. Let them serve their gods. Let's serve our God. And let the God that answer by power, by fire, let that God be God. Child of God, I love you. I thought I'd share this with you. And I pray for you that you are preserved from every satanic oppression. Any plan of the enemy to make, to make you suffer. Any plan of the enemy to make you beaten, to lose your blessing by, by society's act. I decree that by your own choosing to stand on the Lord's side, you shall be exempted from the consequences of Halloween. Your children as well, your business as well, your health, your finances, your marriages, your household, and all that concerns you in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, type your loudest amen. Type your loudest amen. So for this weekend, one venue, two services. Hallelujah. One, one venue, two services. One venue, two services. What is the venue? Number 87, Grand Park Hall. Grand, it's a grand venue. Hallelujah. We have to make it grand for Jesus. Grand Park Hall, number 87, Park Street, Luton, Bedfordshire. Grand Park Hall, number 87, Park Street, Luton, Bedfordshire. LU13 hg 9 p.m we start the ninth vigil tomorrow 9 1st of november we're having a service friday the 1st of november 9 p.m we start the ninth vigil we're also going to have communion it's going to be a prophetic and apostolic service a fire mantle service and on sunday to mark this weekend we're celebrating the little grand for jesus flying his name like a banner across the land grand park all two twin turbo weekend tomorrow night vigil 9 p.m come and pray Remove yourself from our Halloween covenant. 9 p.m. Grand Park Hall. Sunday, 4 p.m. And I believe your life will never remain the same. Someone just testifying on Periscope saying, Prophet, I have a testimony. Um, you said that I would be promoted in the area of ministry, and it was so. God bless you, Felicia Eds. We thank God for your promotion. And it's established as you've testified to the glory of God. So shall it be that you are going from glory to glory, power to power, favor to favor, faith to faith, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Felicia Ed, God bless you. It's well with you. Amen. God bless you all. Periscope, listen, I'll see you tomorrow. If you're in and around the UK, make your way. I will see you tomorrow. Ninth vigil. Don't miss it. Come with your friends, but most importantly, come with your children. Put them under the atmosphere of prayer. Come with your family members. Come with your brothers, uncles, your friends. Bring them from, the, from darkness into the marvelous light of God. Facebook family as ever. And as always, I love you with the love of God. YouTube, it's good to have you with us as well. This is John Enuma, my humble self. You call me prophet, apostle. I'm just here to serve and pass on the will and the message of God. God bless you. See you tomorrow, 9 p.m. Grand Park All for a special Fire Prophetic Night video, November edition. Of November, tomorrow, Friday, the 1st of November, 9 p.m. We're there. Grand Park All, 87 Park Street, mm -hmm. Luton, mm -hmm. Bedfordshire. And on Sunday as well. A Thanksgiving service to mark this grand weekend for Jesus, 4 p.m. for Sunday service. Now, this month of November, the Lord said the month of November is the month of notable miracles. And tomorrow is steam. Tomorrow is steam. I am preaching on the word marked for greatness. You are not marked for Halloween, you are marked for greatness. You are not marked for witches, you are marked for greatness. I'm going to be anointing everyone on Sunday to be marked for greatness, but on, so, on, on on Friday, tomorrow night video, the 1st of November, we're going to be communing. Communion means to agree. We're agreeing with heaven that what? Lord, I am marked for greatness. So come partake of the communion as we pray as well, receive prophetic word and utterances and apostolic decrees of our lives tomorrow. Grand Park All, 87 Park Street, Luton Bedfordshire, 9 p.m. Periscope, God bless you. YouTube, God bless you. Facebook, God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. See you tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm waiting, looking forward to meeting you, your families, and your friends. Come with someone and let them come with someone as we pray and seek the face of God. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I am marked for greatness. Hallelujah. Praise God.